Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, people are asking how do we get a model into Black Ops um, using Blender. So, um, if you go to Codeman Axe's Blender-COD add-on, uh, if you've used it for COD War or COD 4, uh, you may already have this anyway, um, you're going to obviously need to download Blender and then you need to download the add-on. So if you just download this file, don't extract it and put it somewhere safe. Then, if we go in Blender, Go to File, User Preferences, select Testing, click on Install from File, find your downloaded zip file, highlight it, don't double click, then click Install from File. It will then go back to this screen. If you go back to File, User Preferences, ensure you've got Testing selected again, tick this box here and then the uh, ability to import and export X models is now added into Blender. You then need a model, so um, just for sake of argument, I've already got one in here. Um, I, it was a 3DS file, I've quickly imported it, so I just imported a 3DS file. You can add other file types to import in here, and you can even import in uh, old X models. We then need to export it, so we export it as an X model, um, test fence, I've called this one, uh, and I've exported. Um, I also did a balcony as well, and I might show you the balcony one next. So we just export the file and it'll create it, and you can give it a name up here. Once it's exported, you can then go into the COD asset property editor. So I have my own um, uh, asset set created, so it's a GDT file. Um, and I'm putting my models in here. So if you did new asset, you could create an, uh, an X model and give it a name. Let's pick the balcony one that I've already done. Uh, it's going to be rigid. Um, you then need to browse to the um, file in question. No, I've jumped ahead of myself here. Let me just rewind slightly. We need to make the X model underscore export into a bin file, so one that Black Ops 3 can recognize. And to do this, we take um, the uh, export file and we place it in your models folder. So I've got one called Wacker Models, and it's basically in my Call of Duty apps folder in the mo model export folder, and there's a subfolder called Wacker Models. We then have to convert it using the export to bin program. Uh, I happen to know that it's in the bin folder, so I've gone down a few directories and I'm calling it here. The great thing about this is you can wildcard. So if you had a lot of models uh, that all began with T, for example, or if you just want to do a boatload, you can wildcard the whole lot. Um, so if I choose T here, if I just get rid of that, just to show you. So I've got the exported file from Blender. We're going to convert this file over. We're going to convert this file over. That's run. We've then got a bin folder here. Uh, so that file's now, now exported. Now it's there. We can then go to here and in the new asset that we've been creating, point it at LOD0, which is the uh, model that we've just got here. So we've got X model underscore bin. Now, I haven't brought over textures. What I'm doing is substituting textures. So in this case, it only had two textures. One was the railings of this balcony. The other was the um, sort of uh, concrete or um, plaster. So I've chosen two textures as substitutes. You can basically just type it in, and it will start to autofill, and you can choose down. So, so if I went down a bit, there are other ones. We could choose burgundy, for example. So let's choose burgundy save that. We've now given these two materials uh, substitute textures. If it puts an explanation mark in here, there are a couple of textures which I often do not use. Just pick another texture. It's really simple. So if we jump into our editor, here's the model in question. Let's drag it over here. It's a little bit small, uh, so we might change the size of it. And there it is. 
Uh, it's got the green railings. Uh, you can probably see it better spinning down here because the light box isn't set up here. We changed the texture from a white plaster to a sort of reddish tint here. And that's working quite nicely. And that's quite an easy way of getting your model in. And don't worry about scale. If you want to scale it, just press N, change the model scale, and you can change the size. So if we don't like that size, we can make it absolutely huge. Uh, as big as you want, really. Uh, there we go. That's a really, really quick rough sketch way of getting a model into Black Ops 3 using Blender and Codeman X's import utility. Cheers.